we are back with Antibellum Lithuania. So if we go into the player's map mode, this is what we currently look like. We have a little bit of a portion of Scandinavia. In this part of the run, the final part, we need to conquer the whole Scandinavia. Of course, we want to complete the achievement Pagan Fury. Form the nation of Baltia, so we just need two more admin levels. And reform the Baltic faith, so we need to finish religious ideas. We have a bit of leftover cash, so we can repay a few of these loans. It's not that bad that we have 17 loans currently. It's not as bad as it looks, actually. Like, our balance is just minus three. And what I'm currently doing is I'm not using the burger loans. Like, we could go and repay the 1% loans and take bigger ones because our current loans are 400 ducats each. But this way, we would lose mercantilism. And we are saving mercantilism for the mission Musu Yura, for which we need 25 of it. Now, we went from 39 development, we currently have 761, we're the second greatest power. By the end of this video, we will be comfortably the first one. This is the collision view, and of course we have a few nations in there, but it doesn't really matter that much as long as the Scandinavian nations have not entered, it's alright. What I will do is probably fight Kiev before they enter the collision, minus 93 aggressive expansion. And we have Turov, which has these amazing cores, so we can take a lot of stuff. Also, Kiev holds some of the marshes provinces. The terrain is marsh. We need two more of those. We currently have three. We will need to develop them to eight development, I believe, and we can complete uh, tame the marshes finally. So actually, when we have like leftover points, which is basically my current situation with mill points, then we can continue developing the marsh provinces as there will be no development cost penalty in them anymore. I don't like this fort. I don't like it at all. So yeah, last time I believe we finished the war with Nizhny Novgorod here. I'm just gonna send my units, get rid of the rebels, and then we can fight Kiev. And we will get ready for Denmark because our truce is expiring in 1502. Unfortunately, it's gonna take much longer until we can fight Norway, which is probably gonna annex Sweden as they have 92% war score. And since we're talking about wars, yeah, we will need to have multiple wars versus Denmark and Norway as their current war score, well, Total province war score cost is more than 200%, so yeah, it's gonna take a while. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's beat them up. Oh, Moldavia, you sweet child, you gotta be kidding me, bro. You're gonna try and siege my provinces? This guy is out of his mind, completely. And he's locked with 15,000. I expect a stack wipe, look at this, boys. Yeah, that's right, completely demolished. So the situation is that these guys really don't wanna fight us. Why? Because we have 85 army tradition, we can recruit 100 tradition generals, so we can click this. And you might remember that we also have Lithuanian warlord dukes giving us land leader shock plus two. So this is the kind of leaders that we are getting. Five, six shock, like I don't care about getting rid of this six shock guy because we're above the limit. Basically, Lithuania has some of the strongest generals in early game, at least in the age of discovery in Antibellum. School of Karalochus, so we can sacrifice 700 ducats and get 10% local development cost reduction. Now, I'm not really happy about losing that much money, but one of the mission requires us to have a 40 development province, and also the colonialism has appeared, so we could actually develop our capital. It's relatively cheap, like, at this point. Yeah, please, give me that. I'm just gonna go ahead and start investing my mill points because I have just way too many of those. Expand infrastructure. Oh wow, that's a ton of rebels that are spawning currently. Gotta take care of those bastards. And how the hell did I miss this guy? I kind of forgot about Galicia Volhynia. Let's destroy him. I don't like him, man. Now the question is, do we vassalize Galicia? Because they have a lot of cores, but I will be taking two of these provinces for myself as they are marshes. And I don't think I will be bothering too much with Kiev anymore. Nah, I think I will just give this one province back to Turov, it's fine. So this dude can just give me war operations and cash. And Kiev on the other hand, let's grab a ton of stuff from this guy. That's about right. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Mark. Not you, Mark, not you again. So now we have 40 development in Karalochus, but I've realized a little bit of a problem. Like, this mission was actually pretty good, the seat of Voldovas, which is in Lithuanian the seat of the ruler, but it would have been really good for Vilnius because we are producing grain in here, and in Karalochus, as you remember, we actually got gems because of faceting. So this mission makes your trade good cloth, which is worth less than gems, and I actually don't want to complete it. 
It really sucks, we would be getting 100 splendor, local production efficiency until the end of the game, but we just cannot do it, we would be losing out on money, like, this is pretty terrible. The saving grace is that later on in the campaign, if we wish to do so, we can move our capital, develop it to 40, and we can still reap those rewards. But for now, this button is going away. Now, the situation with Denmark. We will be fighting Lubeck and Hansa, and we will be taking one province from each of them, so there will be a big coalition, I would assume. I think I'm still not gonna call in my boys, I probably don't need them. Let's try and do this, I guess. Yeah, of course, we cannot co-belligerent Lubeck, and this is why I'm saying that there will be a coalition. They're not gonna be co-belligerent. If we would, all of the HRE would join. Yeah, it would be a bit maybe too stressful, so screw it, man. Let's go like that. What I really hope is that I have a strong enough navy. I will build more galleys just to be safe. And let's barrage all of this crap. Oh, no way this dude is gonna join 40,000 units here. Um, that is not the best that could happen, but like, look at these generals. They're so weak, man. I honestly think we should be good even with 30,000. We can take a look at this. We have much more morale. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's take this gamble. I'm actually gonna initiate a battle versus them while we're at it. We're crushing these guys. Holy shit, it took 64% to get this forward, but finally we got it. And Hansa, you're down, my boy. I think he's actually done for. Can we follow him? Nah, this fort is stopping us. All right. Okay, now he's done. Absolutely crushed. And we have colonialism and Karelochus. Now we will actually need to let it spread a little bit. So we can grab the advancement effort edict. We can wait. No need to rush this as I'm not going to upgrade my technologies anytime soon, I believe. Oh wow, this one province is actually gonna be 43 aggressive expansion. You know what we could do? We can try and reroll our advisors and potentially get a aggressive expansion reduction one. What is this? I actually didn't notice this guy. Um, you gotta go. We got it, nice. So this is gonna help a little bit. Wait, 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 what happened here? Did Norway lose a war with someone? Or what is this? They actually just got released. So Sweden we can declare and we can full... Oh my god, I love this. This is beautiful. Just casual triple war. And finally, I think we can remove Hansa and Lubeck from this war. That's right. Oh man, yeah, this is actually gonna be disgusting, but I still wanna do this. It would be way too difficult to do this with the HRE. Yeah, so we cannot take it yet, but when we can, this is the collision we will be facing. And this is not the last one, because we will be taking tons of stuff from Sweden and Denmark. What we better do right now is start improving relations before we finish the war or we're gonna actually be doomed. And I guess for that matter, we can keep switching our advisors. Before we finish the war, we take this aggressive expansion one and while we're waiting, while improving relations, we can take this guy. Oh, our ruler just died, so this means we can select a new deity. I love how we can actually worship the devil. Valnias in Lithuanian is devil. Dievas is god. Perkunas is like god of thunder or something like that. Like, worshipping the devil actually wouldn't be that bad because we're currently waiting for colonialism. But I think we can definitely go for province worse or cost. Let's go for that. Let's be the good guys, right? This is the last mercantilism, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Musuyura is then 1000 decades. Additional merchant, galley combat ability, skill fee trader. I'm gonna recruit this guy after I'm done with the wars for sure. And look at that, we also dealt with the pirates because we own Gotland. So we are getting the ability to raid coasts, including coasts of countries with the same religion. This is gonna give us a lot of cash because we're gonna go and raid England, as we will have a little bit of an establishment in Denmark. And of course, we will own this province from Hansa. Give me that. And finally, because we're done with the mercantilism mission, I hope there's not more missions that require mercantilism. That would be horrible. But what I want to do is, of course, take the end of it to the Miestelene loans. So we have 3,000 decades. Goodbye to the 4% ones. Damn right, our economy is fully restored. Actually, screw that. We're gonna take level 9 military. Uh, yeah, we took this a bit ahead of diplomatic, so we're gonna get a little bit of a corruption debuff, as there's more than a two levels gap between those technologies. But I think that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and finish the war with Hansa. Yeah, huge coalition, boys. Huge, huge coalition. I don't care. I don't care. We're gonna still do this. We're gonna break all of their treaties if we can. Yeah, this is good enough. There we go. And this means we can complete the mission Destroy Hansa. Trade efficiency, more perma claims, and our ruler gains one diplo point. Now, how big is... Oh my god, this is actually pretty disgusting. But for the sake of this run, I think I will still do it. Now, guys, like, I have to keep improving relations a little bit. 
wouldn't like Novgorod joining it. Yeah, let's quickly declare this one province minor can go. It's just pretty much gonna be world war as I'm also gonna declare... Oh no. Oh no. They're also... In oh, they entered. I couldn't declare on Zaporozhye. I hope it's not gonna actually trigger because there is a good chance it could. I think what we can do is probably recruit some more mercenaries so they're less inclined to attack us. Like if we get something like the Grand Company, we might actually be doing good. Yeah, I guess for a moment let's not care too much about losing cash. Now, while we're what I could call chilling, I guess we can start raiding coasts. I wonder what we can actually raid. Alright, so we can raid the Netherlands, Scotland and a part of Ireland. England apparently has been raided recently, so we will need to wait at least three more years. I think I just saw a pop-up saying that a crusade has been called against us. I guess people really don't like our conquest, guys. I think they don't like us expanding too much. So the lesson here is that taking a major part of Scandinavia might result in some bad things. That is not bad money, you know what? That is not bad money at all. It is another 65 ducats. Gov capacity is horrible now, so we need to build some courthouses. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. These actually don't give too much governing capacity. But the saving grace is that we need only 100 more development and we can upgrade our rank to Empire. So this is gonna solve the problem. Please get out of here, Smolensk. I don't want to see you anymore. So guys, I think I'm gonna take out Denmark now. We're completely fine, right? Right, guys? Please agree with me, because I'm not sure right now if we are fine or not. But at least our name placement looks nice. We actually own a lot of stuff now. And we have this amazing new air. Lovely. Yeah, guys, just all of you. Come here. Come here. Join the coalition. I don't give a damn. If we need to, I will fight this coalition. Screw that, man. The question is, does anyone want to ally us? Like, there are a few nations. Sicily, A, hey, Seljuks, Byzantium. Those might not be the worst choices. Like, 17,000, 19. Seljuks are great. Let's go for that. Sicily is gonna be just lovely too. How many more slots do we have for this 6 out of 6? Alright, all right, so we could break alliance with maybe like Mark or Styria. I don't think they're really that powerful. Yeah, Mark is crap. Come here, Crimea. I need you. Like, look at that alliance setup, man. I think we're actually golden here. We got this in the back, boys. So, yeah, after finishing these wars, we have unlocked Purge the Christians as we own the necessary areas in Scandinavia. So, we're getting local missionary strength, army tradition plus 25, and permaclaims on Scandinavia region. Yeah, army tradition, we could say, is a little bit of overkill. I would love if it was actually converted into like mana points. It is not, but it, yeah, what we can do. Then we have Shrines of the Old Gods. This is actually a really good advisor. I love that. Let's recruit this boy right now. F it, man. Let's go for the trade efficiency one because we don't necessarily care about aggressive expansion anymore. I was trying to care about it, but it got a little bit out of hand. Okay, so since we are still overextended, I'm dealing with a ton of rebels. But once this is done, I think I will take a moment to lower the autonomy. Like, yeah, there's a ton of provinces where we can do this. Economy will see a pretty nice boost. Oh god, I actually forgot to put these ships to protect trade. Yeah, let's cook these goddamn rebels. And we're finally also done with Tame the Marshes. Let's go ahead and complete this. Level 2 Architect. But he's only 50% cheaper. I'm gonna stick with the Missionary Strength guy. There's a ton of stuff that we still need to convert. Like many, many provinces of different religions. This is also partly what is causing so many rebels. Us having very low religious unity. But from here, it's only gonna get better. As, as you can see, the time to convert these provinces is really low. Like from 9 months. In the meantime, I'm just continuing to spam the courthouse. Houses. We need go capacity. Okay, very important stuff. Our choice with Norway has expired and they allied Denmark. So this is actually really good for us as this means we will be reducing our truce from 10 years to 5. Let's go ahead and declare we don't want these guys to enter the collision. That would be just disgusting. We can go for this province, Akershus, sure. Demolish them boys. Like stack wipe incoming. I would think so, right? Damn right. And another wipe. Wait, how many soldiers they have? Zero? Oh, okay. That works for me. Damn right, Denmark. Get the hell out. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I noticed. They allied Frankia. Yes, that is just horrible. So we need to break this. My boy is giving up so fast. What a shame. What a shame, Norway. Oh, yes. Let's go. We're an empire. 
It's promoting of Gorodian culture too. Unite with Norway is done. Allows us to upgrade the shipyard of Nedaraos. Great project. And Lithuania gets until the end of the game. Naval force limit modifier plus 15%. Now what would be huge is also embracing colonialism. Let's take like free loans. We can afford that. And let's embrace it finally. So we don't have to care about this anymore. Maybe we can actually sell it to one of our allies. Bohemia would want it. 1.7 ducats, sure, not bad. Yo, that's insane. Styria is the HRE Emperor now. Our ally. Oh yeah, that works for me. We just need to actually improve relations because it's quite horrible right now. Hey, this is good additional missionary strength. Our gardening capacity 800. Yes, that's what I like to see. Now I think we can complete recruit to Hakapelita. Yeah, we just need 12,000 cavalry. So I'm gonna recruit a couple of more cavalry units. Let's get that done. Yep, here we have it. So we're getting additional army professionalism and the new cavalry mercenary company that doesn't cost army professionalism to recruit. Yeah, so these guys are pretty damn crazy. Like, look at that. 27 cavalry units, 100% cav to infantry ratio. So this means, yeah, you don't get any penalty. Additional 1 cavalry shock and 25% movement speed. I wish they had a better general, but... At this point, it's still insane. So if something bad happens, for example, um, let's say a collision war, we could use these guys to just demolish everyone. What I really don't like is England being at war with Norway. I didn't think about it. Yes, yeah, so there is a chance that England will take the provinces in Scandinavia. They actually view it as their vital interest. Yep, so this is pretty guaranteed. We will have to fight England pretty much, which includes the collision. You know what? Um quite happy about this. It means that we will be going for this war. Of course, it won't be as large as it is right now. There will be nations leaving it as we are constantly improving relations, but it still will be an interesting war, I believe. Of course, if I was smart about it, I would have took the provinces in the coast to completely block England's expansion, but I'm not always the smartest guy in E4. Wait, did the Seljuks just get like completely destroyed by the Abbasids? I don't remember Abbasids having these provinces, man. Oh yeah. They lost a ton, of course, which is not really good for us. But on the other hand, Andalusia is striking back. So there is a chance that Seljuks will come after these provinces after a while. Andalusia is actually going pretty crazy. They are not letting us go way ahead of them. Like, 1k development. I'm glad we don't have to deal with this crap. This is worse than the coalition. Like, these guys are insane. How is England not occupying the provinces? What is happening here? Or are they just dealing with Denmark still? Like, come on, England. Just ig ignore this part of Scandinavia. Go to Iceland. There are some better stuff there. You definitely want to have this 9 development province, for example, with fish production. And looks like we can finally restore our crown lands to 30%. It's been a while since we had this because of the constant selling titles, but we're back. We're actually looking pretty damn good. 40 ducats from trade. So yeah, England, I think you're not gonna like this, but we're gonna absolutely raid your coasts. It's not much money, like, are you so poor or what is happening here? 94 ducats, that's what I'm talking about. Give me your damn money. Somehow, they're not getting worse, Kurt. I don't know what is happening. How are they not occupying these provinces? This is mind-boggling, but also really good. And this is a real balance when we're not losing ducats from rooting out corruption and stuff. We're actually making 25 and we're paying 15 ducats in interest still. So once we get rid of our loans, you can say this is 40 ducats income in 1516. I would say that is pretty damn good. We also have a bit of inflation, so that we can also restore. Oh yeah, let's go. Gov reform progress, admin points. Let's go. We're level 9. One more level until we can form our lovely Baltia nation. And let's see what we can select here. Diplomats, all estates loyalty, pretty much what we need. Temples giving us additional tax modifier would be neat, but do we need money? Religious unity would not be actually too bad. Nah, man, let's go for the diplomat. This is gonna help us with the coalition. Sure, let's go. Ooh, sure, I'll take that. Uh, we have plus free stability once again. And these bastards, are they like listening to me? They actually figured out the trick and they're now sieging down Norway. It's over, boys. We will have to fight England. Wait, why the hell is Styria? Oh, Denmark is part of the HRE, so we will have to fight Styria. Are you serious? That is actually not good. Wait, what if we reduce their opinion? It probably won't help, but we can try. 
Yeah, I mean, it's super close now. 99 for minus 94. And it's not like we could declare a separate war and call in Styria, because since they are the emperor, then we could not attack Denmark. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of garbage, but probably we will have to fight like this. Oh my god, what have you done, England? You warmongers, you took such a huge part of Denmark. But on the other hand, alright, so this little problem is solved. I guess it doesn't really matter that Norway is not gonna join because, yeah, they're pretty much done. I hate England, what more can I say? Of course they did. But now that I think about it, guys, the problem might not be that big. Like, I'm trying to think of ways to avoid the damn collision and fix my mistake of leaving these provinces in the coast. If we form Baltia, Technically, everybody should leave the coalition because of our tag change. Yeah, I think we might as well be good. But we have... Oh my god, they formed Britannia. That is wild. They have 15% additional heavy ship combat ability and 20% morale of navies. 50 free ships. If we want to think about this war, we need to build like some heavy ships of our own, maybe more galleys. But it shouldn't be too big of a deal to destroy them. This crap, we also have to fight after one more year. Styria once again is gonna be a pain in the ass. But this means we can remove multiple nations from the coalition. I was wondering, where is this other nation that I allied? Oh my god, they're so far away. What the hell is going on here? Okay, truce with Hansa, done. If we don't attempt to enter the coalition, we have to go. And we will go, and we will completely destroy them. Now, yeah, the conquest not gonna be Brandenburg. We need to connect our provinces, or at least that is what I wanna do. I think the highest development provinces did march in here, but I might not take it, not sure. Um, Rostock, sure, Rostock. Let's go, let's crush them. Oh, we got us in the bag. They're gonna fall like flies here. We're level 10 military. Look at this, boys. We're demolishing 7,000. Now we can go after this 10,000, sure. It's gonna be another wipe here. Where do you think you're running? Where do you think you're going, my boy? Hey, here we go. We can take level 10 admin technology. So we unlocked many new buildings, ministries, and gravel roads. So these are the ministries. They actually cost 2,000 decades. And they require different fully finished ideas, such as diplomatic or influence right here. Unique building that could grant diplomatic annexation cost minus 10%. That is actually pretty strong. And for example, this one, if you finished imperial ideas, it grants 5% imperial authority growth. So it's like having another monument that gives this pretty damn good stuff. And gravel roads are actually not bad at all as well. Friendly movement speed plus 10% instead of the 5%. And you can go up to level 30 with this, which would grant 25% percent movement speed in your nation it's pretty crazy i'm gonna build a couple of those i think i will go for quality ideas because the policy is really nice with religious siege ability and moral damage and the thing is i would have gone for admin for sure but we will have many more mill points lying around at this point because we're still dealing with a bit of religious ideas we are 11 years ahead of time with military technology so there's that we're ahead with admin as well but we're gonna core a ton of stuff just crush everybody. Just go around and just crush everybody. That is what I like to see. When can we finish this war? Like, I cannot reach Trieste. Oh, we can finish it right now. Okay, it works for me. It works for me, boys. Full annexation of Denmark. Control the sound toll is finished. It changes development of the monument sound toll by one and gives us more perma claims. Now, what is that? So this monument gives local trade power, domestic trade power, mercantilism. I guess we can afford to upgrade it to level two. So let's start building this. Oh, okay. I see. They thought about this. We cannot be constructing a great project. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna cancel it in this case. Let's just complete the mission. Boys, do you really need 50,000 soldiers to siege down one province? Are you serious? Let's teach this old man a lesson, shall we? Get destroyed, fools. Get destroyed. And really now, if we can separate piece these boys out, it would be great. It's gonna be a little bit dangerous to keep our army split up because of how many nations there are. But we can try it. Like at this point, they have already lost 144,000 troops. And we lost, what, 40,000. And our manpower is just six, so we don't care about that. Oh my god, I don't like this. They're occupying so much stuff. Hey, come on, finish these couple sieges. Let's get rid of these boys. Sure, I'll call in Sicily to help us out. Bro, like, get off my fort. Give me warps. Get out of here, man. Break your alliances as well. I don't want to see that. Actually, can break two of them. That's fine. Let's raid them real quick while we're at it, shall we? Give me some cash. That's right, 140 ducats. Nice, with the help of Sicily, we have gotten rid of most of these annoying bastards. 
Yeah, Styria we can also peace out, so this is great. There we go, boys. Pretty borders and not given a damn about the collision achieved as we're taking lots of stuff. And we have connected our lands. Look at this beautiful name placement. We're huge. Pain in the ass to core, but let's go. So I took a screenshot because I love how this Lithuania looks. But we have to turn it to another country. You know what it is. Form Baltia. Let's go. New traditions and ambitions. I'm excited to see what those are. Let's go. Oh my god, this green color. It kind of looks like the Ottoman color in a way. Maybe a bit lighter, but yes, new traditions and ambitions. What do we have here? 15% morale of armies, monthly war exhaustion, land leader shock plus one. Guys, like, land leader shock. I'm, I'm just not gonna say much. Provincial trade power modifier, missionary strength, galley combat ability, trade efficiency and additional merchant, national unrest minus two. We have shock damage plus 15, pagan fury. And to top it off, we have national manpower modifier. So I gotta say not the greatest ideas what i lack here is probably like some core creation cost maybe even five percent admin efficiency would do the trick maybe instead of the monthly war exhaustion like that's pretty lackluster but but since we are of course a pagan nation romo religion this actually helps us convert the provinces really quick it helps us deal with the rebels and we have a pretty damn strong army i would say now i just want to see everybody leave the coalition please yes yes boys yes there it is oh yes i love it England left the coalition, or I should say Britannia. You know what it is, boys. We gotta take the Scandinavian provinces. Unfortunate that these guys don't want to help us. But that's fine, we got this in the bag. The only thing we really needed is just everyone to leave. I guess the only test will be if we can beat their navy. Which I suppose we can, because we have a lot of ships. We have a really good flagship as well. So who else is in this war? Munster. We have Gallery. Okay, we can take care of that. And probably what I will do is not separate PSM out. I'll just take one big chunk. So we don't have to get that much war score from Britannia itself. Oh yeah, please give me additional infantry combat ability. Thank you. What we might just be able to do is hunt down their navy like one by one. They have some trade ships over here. So if we beat those, that would be pretty nice. Oh my god, he's so quick, it's insane. What is this man, blockade? We're actually losing admin points. Um, Yeah, let's go with the second one. I don't want to lose that. Let's see, alright, we're destroying them. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, what is this man? What are these events? What do you mean? 600 duck is just down the hole. 49 ships, now we will see if we can go ahead and destroy that. That would be great. No, 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 no. They're tough. Like, we have... 3.6 morale, they have 4.2. Yeah, I don't think we can challenge that, at least for now. Look at these 20,000 peasants. Where are you going, bro? You're so fast like Sonic, but we gotta stop for a second. We gotta talk, man. Absolute peasants. Just crush them. And worse from that. Oh my god. No, our Inquisitor died. What are we gonna do now? I guess we can take this National Unrest one, sure. He's not that bad. Hey, we're actually at 55% religious unity. So it took like maybe like 15 years to get up by 15%, which is not too bad. Why they must have such strong ships, man? Why? Just why? I mean, at least we're actually getting close to having enough war score to take the piece that we want to take. So, 42. Yeah, we're good on track. And we can still get a lot of ticking war score, which is nice. Province war score cost minus 20%. Here we go. Now it's 33. So we're almost done. I think I will go for like maybe one more war after this just to complete another mission. I have my eyes on secure the White Sea. So, Yaroslav, watch out for me, boy. Let's just declare now. We got us in the bag. First of all, we can take care of where we also have Crimea in this war. They're gonna help us out a little bit. Now, if we just get this little blockade over here, that might be enough. 64, all right. Yeah, boys, we're done. We have all we need. F you, Britannia. F you, my man. That's what you get for taking our stuff. So, to complete Unite Balkoscandia, we just need to take care of Norway. Truce is gonna expire in just a few months. And we have permaclaims on these provinces, so we're all good. I need more garden capacity. I'll just take 5% of Crownland's debuff and I'll get additional 100. So we have 900. Let's go, let's go, let's go before we forget to do this. Fake news. I don't believe this. What disorder, man? Hey, here we go. We have enough war score for Grey Horde. This guy wants to donate 683 ducats. I don't mind it. Thank you very much. Now, you know, we can dominate the White Sea. Or we can just go ahead and full annex Yaroslav. Screw this guy. That's what I love to see. 
And just as we did it, our golden era has expired. Oh, terrible news because we still need to get a couple of religious ideas. So it's going to be expensive along with coring all of this stuff. Oh, I didn't have this guy maximum level yet. Let's go ahead and upgrade him. I need as much admin points as possible. 17 is pretty damn neat. Oh, I was waiting for this. Finally, we finished some course and now we have remaining over extension that we can afford to have. So here we go. We're full annexing Norway. We're done with that bullcrap. Now, of course, we will need a ton of admin points to actually core all this stuff. And we will still lack a couple of religious ideas. But what we can do now is unite Baltascandia. The unification of Baltascandia happens. United we stand, we're getting 25 permanent power projection, country name changes to Baltoscandia, we're changing to Empire, we already have that rank, and this halves the negative modifiers of unaccepted cultures in all owned Finnic and Nordic provinces. Alright, so here we go, our name changed once again, but this time of course we don't get any new ideas or something like that. Hey, look at that, we also completed the achievement Pagan Fury. We have entered the Age of Reformation, and as you know, new nations have unique bonuses for this age. So I want to point out like a couple of those. If you're Lotharingia, you get 0.25 Imperial Authority modifier, like that's crazy. You can pass reforms insanely quick with this. And if you're Seljuk's room to run or the Ottomans, you are getting unbeatable Janissary armies with 25% infantry combat ability. Like some insanely OP stuff over here. 20% core creation cost for Byzantium. But yeah, I guess nothing really tops that infantry combat ability. No Crimea. No, no more worse because we are done. We have just finished the annexation of Turov. And we also can pick our last religious idea, which means we're getting Gallic combat ability. Deuce Wult. We have our policies available. So we can take religious unity plus 25%. Oh, this is actually insane because we're up to 84%. And our religion map mode looks like this. It is a bit divided. There are a lot of orthodox provinces that we need to convert. Some catholic provinces. But we can now click this and reform the Baltic faith. So reformed Romova becomes the new state religion of Baltoscandia. We are getting 10% missionary strength until 1549. So for 10 years. And basically this is giving us time to convert everything to our new religion. Church of Baltoscandia. So, yeah, we keep the same bonuses. We have regiment cost and production efficiency. But instead of deities, we have this new stuff. Church power. And the bonuses are pretty sick. Like, look at that. We can have 5% discipline alongside with 15% shock damage. And this is only one of the four slots that we can take. So we can also have province war score cost. We can have idea cost. And if I would have to select, I would go for core creation cost for the fourth one too. So, I mean, basically access to four deities at the same time. Yeah, it's entirely worth it to sacrifice two stability. Of course, the negative is that we will have to work on converting everything once again. But this time it is going to be pretty quick. Since we have completed all three of the national decisions that we were looking forward to, this is where the run will end. I hope you guys liked it. We turned a super small 39 development Lithuania into a 1391 development Baltoscandia. And of course we still have a pretty massive coalition, but none of that fortunately matters anymore. I think we could even really beat it if we wanted to. We still have these pretty decent allies. We just lost Crimea though. But yeah, guys, this is it. Make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. We are very close to reaching 5,000 subscribers, so it would be lovely to reach it soon. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. A big thank you to the channel members and patrons, Vowino and Lazar.